हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग भर्तुसा राउंड दैट इज स्टेज टू भर्तुसा कोडिंग राउंड एंड हियर यू विल हैव टोटल थ्री कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस एंड टोटल फाइव सेक्शंस आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ दैट सो नाउ लेट मी शेयर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वाज आस्क्ड रिसेंटली इन स्टेज टू कोडिंग राउंड सो दैट यू विल गेट टू नो अबाउट द डिफिकल्टी लेवल यू विल गेट टू नो अबाउट द pattern everything right so let me show that but before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding bhartu sa or any comment that you want and if you want me to upload any content then please suggest me in the comment section okay so let me share the question the question was regarding valid permutation okay so your task uh, you are given two integers n and k your task is to generate a valid permutation of integers from 1 to n such that there are exactly k inversions in the array so an inversion in a permutation is a pair ij such that i is less than j and array i is greater than array j your goal is to return any one permutation of numbers 1 to n having exactly k inversions if no such permutations is possible return minus 1 input format is this n is equal to 5 k is equal to 5 output is this how let me just share that okay so uh, actually i think uh, it is wrongly placed let me just put actual value that is uh, it's okay so now let me uh, just explain why this is the output for this sample input okay so your task is to return any one permutation of numbers 1 to n okay 1 to n having exactly k inversions okay having exactly k inversions so we have to have total five inversions in this case exactly five inversions in this case if no such permutation is possible then return minus 1 okay now our initial goal is to return k that means five inversions what is what is inversion that is a uh, in permutation uh, inversion in a permutation is a pair ij such that i comma i less than j and array i is greater than array j so here array i is greater than so i and j right here it is i and it is j here it is i it is j right so this ith value is greater than this j or not less than j or not yes because here it is 0 it is 1 it is 2 it is 3 it is 4 right so ith value here is lesser than this value and, and array i is greater than this array j okay so this is one inversion so array i is greater than this array j array i is greater than this array j so these are all inversions right here where these all conditions are matching okay that means i is equal to 0 so 0 is lesser than 1 Zero is lesser than two. Zero is lesser than three. Zero is lesser than four, and also this is matching. That is, array i is greater than array j. Array i is greater than array j. Array i is greater than array j. So these are all inversions, right? So five comma one that can be one inversion. Five comma two that can be one inversion. Five comma four that can be one inversion. Five comma three that can be one inversion. But one two cannot be an inversion. Why? Because array i array i in case of 1 okay it is lesser than this okay it is lesser than array j so that's why it is not matching so it will not be in our cons consideration for 2 comma 4 this also is not matching our uh, conditions right criteria so array i comma j is not fulfilling our criteria so it is not an inversion but 4 comma 3 this is an inversion because array j is lesser than array i so 4 comma 3 will be another uh, inversion so total 1 2 3 4 5 5 five inversions are already made and this is the exactly requirement that is we have to have total k inversions that is five inversions in our uh, array okay array or list so i hope you understood the task right so if you understood guys then please give the answer in the comment section and if you want me to give the answer then please watch till the end of the video okay and guys please do subscribe and share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this let me give you just one more example so that you can understand better let's say you have given n is equal to 4 okay and uh, let me just remove those let's say n is equal to 4 and k is equal to 5 still okay now how will you 
arrange this array so that you can get total five inversions k inversions okay how will you arrange the array so the number will be from 1 to n right 1 to n and you have to arrange in such a way so that total five inversions are made so the greater number should be placed at first okay greater number should be placed at first four then uh if i just uh, arrange this way four three two one then we got how much inversions one inversions two inversions three inversions four three four two four one three inversions now three two two one so total five inversions are made right so this way we can arrange the we can we can arrange this uh array such a way so that total k inversions can be made okay so that is 4 comma 3 3 comma 2 2 comma 1 and also 4 comma 2 and 2 comma sorry 4 comma 1 okay so these are all inversions can be possible so guys i hope you want us to do so let me show you the code but before that guys i want you to have the prime materials of virtusa where we have included the recent questions with answers recent technical questions recent coding questions and all the five sections of stage two stage one everything there so please have that and grab the opportunity to get a job at virtusa and what important that is let's say but uh, for virtusa the exam is being conducted by the martial metal and they have prepared questions for virtusa only so they are shuffling the questions uh, from uh, stage one stage two and uh, let's say all rounds questions are being shuffled right so those questions will be very important if you are preparing okay so please have those and grab opportunity here okay i hope you understood so let me go to the answer so this is the solutions i have prepared for you so at first let's say this is the sample input and uh, we have uh, so in, in is equal to 4 and k is equal to 5 we have hard coded the input list of integer we are taking in which we will store a list which is being returned by this function generate permutation which is taking two argument n comma k okay and it is just simply uh, printing the permutation list okay so let me just show the sample i mean uh, implementation of the functions okay so it is a it is an static function and it is returning a list of integers and taking two arguments both are integers okay so now in the result which is a list of integer which is a list of integer it, it the list is being uh, implemented by this array list because list is an interface so it is being implemented by the array list class okay so in in this result we will store all the uh, all the uh, element in such a way so that we will get the inversions okay so now we are initializing the value of start and end as 1 to n because it was told in the question okay now for i is equal to 0 to i less than n so we are going through all the element from i value 0 to the nth value okay so at the first condition in initial condition is if k is greater than this then this so what we are doing here let me just tell you for the first scenario 5 comma 5 okay if uh, n is equal to 5 and k is equal to 5 in this case start is equal to 1 okay start is equal to 1 n is equal to 5 right so if k is greater than equal to n minus uh, 1 i mean 5 minus 1 that is 4 then then result dot add end so we are just adding 5 so end is 5 right so we are adding 5 into the result list why because if let's say there is another scenario where k is equal to so n is equal to let's say 5 and k is equal to 3 okay so in this case in this case n is equal to 5 and start is equal to 1 so 5 minus 1 is 4 right so 3 is the k k is greater than equal to 4 no false right so it will not include it will not include the uh, end value into the list why because we need to get the exact kth value kth inversion right so that's why we'll take the max value at possible okay so we have included that five that means the kth value into the list and then uh sorry end value okay end value at the 
first okay then we are decreasing the value of k we are decreasing the value of k so what was the value of k at first that was 5 then the value of k decreased by end minus start that is 5 minus 1 that is 4 right so k was 5 5 minus 4 so it will be decreased to 1 and end will also be decreased by 1 that is uh, the end was 5 so it will now be 4 right in the next iteration it will check if k is greater than or equal to end minus start so end was 4 a start was start was 1 itself okay a start has not been changed okay so 4 minus 1 that is 3 so now it is checking if the k is greater than equal to that or not so if it is false if it is false then it will jump out to the else block so in else block it will check if uh, it will not check it will just add the start value that is 1 into the result okay so that means the one right so result dot add one because the condition was false here so one will be added to the result five comma one and then then the start value will be increased because in the next iteration one should not be here right if this else block is executed the start value should be increased by incremented by one at least okay in the next iteration ith value is so ith value is 2 in the next iteration ith value is 2 so now k is greater than end minus start or not so end was uh, end was 4 right so 4 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 that is 2 so this way it will check if it is not uh, going like it is it, it, will, it will not be executed right so it will go to the else block and 2 will be increment i mean 2 will be added and the new value of start will be 3 now so this way it will keep adding and 5 1 2 4 3 will be the output okay i hope you understood guys so let me just run this code and show you what is the answer okay so for sample input 4 and 5 the output should be 4 3 1 2 4 3 1 2 and because let's see 4 3 4 1 for two total four inversions now and sorry four three four one four two three inversions then three one three two so total five inversions done okay now if i just uh, run this code for five comma five then there should be five inversions again okay so five one five two five three five four and four three so total five inversions made okay i hope you understood so if you understood then guys please do subscribe this channel and if not then please let me know in the comment section i'll try to assist you and if you want me to upload more content on this then please uh suggest me which content do you want more and please do share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this and also i will be motivated okay so thank you for today's session